See in the previous video we have some sound issue. So you can follow this once again main problem so that you can get the clear idea how to simplify, how to find mean for continuous series problems. Now to find mean, if you find the question in this way, find mean or find arithmetic mean, class interval frequency 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25. This is the question we have in which by seeing the question we get to know that arithmetic mean we have to find and the series which is given to us is continuous series. To find arithmetic mean for continuous series what you have to remember is 5 columns you have to take. See for median we will not take 5 columns. For mean you have to remember to take 5 columns CI, FI, XI, UI, Fi into Ui. Ci, class interval. Class interval 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25. Then we have value 5, 10, 15, 12, 8. See, I am taking any uh, random example so that by seeing the textbook, I will, I will post my, that paper also, question paper. Uh, exercise questions so that by seeing that questions you can answer that one then I will issue one key for that one you can tally with your key book XI how to find this XI to find XI in, if you follow the previous video you can have that idea how to find XI what values we should write here to find XI you have to use class interval two values class interval 0 and 5 are there 0 plus 5 is 5 divided by 2 2.5 then 5 plus 10 15 divided by 2 7.5 similarly 12.5 17.5 then we have 22.5 from where we are getting this one because of the h value h means length of the class height of the class difference of the classes 20 minus 15, always subtract these two values, 20 and 15, that is 5. Don't subtract 15 minus 20, last value, upper last value. This one, last one, subtraction done with the previous one. Don't subtract 15 minus 20, you will get minus 5 that time. No negative values you will get in this mean question. Sigma Fi, summation of this frequency, Sigma Fi, 8, 9, 10, 15, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50. Summation fi means total of fi. Now from xi, what you have to remember is first value of xi is a always. In example, they will take a as center value, then 0, minus 1, minus 2, all negative values they take. We will not taking, we are not taking according to example. Any value is taken as a, so we are taking first value as a. You have to take first value as a always. Now after taking a, if we have taken first value a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. How we are getting this one? In previous video I also have shown you. Now those who have not followed the previous one, they can follow. Ui equals to xi minus a divided by h. xi 2.5 minus a by h. Similarly, second value of xi is 7.5 minus 2.5 by 5. Third value 12.5 minus 2.5 by 5. Fourth value 17.5 minus 2.5 by 5. Fifth value 22.5 minus 2.5 by 5. If you use calculator to find this one 0 by 5 0, 5 by 5 1, 10 by 5 2, 15 by 5 3, 20 by 5 4. Or in simple words, Ui is there 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From where we are getting this A? A is first value of Xi. Okay? These are the two things which you need to remember. Remember, 
Remaining things are fi and ui. Just multiply these two. 5 into 0 is 0. 10 into 1 is 10. 15 to 30. 12 3 is 36. 8 4 is 32. This is summation fi ui. Total of this one. Then we have 6 to 8. 3 3 6 and 9 10. 108. Now we have to find the value of mean by using the formula. What formula? You have to remember the formula also. So the things which you need to remember whenever mean question is given to you, remember the column names C I F I X I U I F I into U I. Then you have to remember what is H, difference of these two, sigma F I, total of this one. From where we are getting A, A is first value of X I always. What is F I U I? F I and U I column multiplication. Then sum of this one, sigma is there. So these are the four values which you have to find. So that in formula you can able to substitute it. A plus summation fi ui into h divided by summation fi. A value. What is the value of A? We have 2.5. Sigma fi ui. 108. H 5. By sigma fi. 50. Now use calculator to multiply. Don't take this value first on calculator. This value is added at the end. This value I will write as it is. Now multiply them 108 into 5. Then divide it by 50. Write the answer here. Now after dividing 10.8 you will get 5 times 50, 10.8 by 108 by 10 is 10.8. Then this is by using calculator 2.5, 10.8, 13, 3, 1, 3. 13.3. This is the value for mean. To find mean from continuous series, what we have done? We have five columns. C I F I X I U I F I into U I. Then we have H. H how to find H? Subtraction to these two will get the value of H. Sigma F I. First value of X I is A. Multiply F I and U I. These two columns. Whatever values you get, find summation. These four values are important. H we need. From where we are getting H is important, Xi, Sigma Fi, Xi first value is always A, then we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then Fi into Ui sum, these four values we are substituting in formula. Once we have formula, you can use calculator to simplify this one, at the end you will get the value of mean. Okay?